friends today we are going to see the mcq of soil mechanics in the topic of soil classification so first question for engineering purpose soil can be classified in terms of option a particle size option b textile classification option c unified soil classification option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the system which are used for soil classification of soil based on the particle size option a pra system of united states option b indian standard classification system option c international soil classification system option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option d all of mentioned so next question in particle size classification system the soils are classified according to option a grain size option b properties option c shape option d solubility so the correct answer is option a grain size so the soil classified by grain size distribution so next question which of the following terms are used to indicate the grain size option a gravel option b sand option c silt option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option d all of mentioned so next question the term silt in the particle size classification system can be replaced by option a silt size option b clay size option c silt type option d none of mentioned so the correct answer is option a silt size so next question indian standard classification of soil is based on option a pra system option b international soil classification option c mit system option d indian system so the correct answer is option c mit system so next question the soil occurring in nature the composed of option a sand option b decomposed substance option c all of the mentioned option d none of mentioned so the correct answer is option a sand so next question the purpose of soil classification is, is to option a to arrange the various soil types in groups option b to use for various purpose option c for finding its properties option d for investigating the soil so the correct answer is to arrange the various soil types in two groups so next question the particle size classification is best suited for option a gross grain soil option b clay soil option c dry soil option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option b clay soil so next question the particle size classification system does not signify option a soil types option b soil particle size option c all of mentioned option d none of mentioned correct answer is option a soil types so next question the soil classification is based on the particle size distribution option a unified soil classification option b is classification option c particle size classification option d textural classification so the correct answer is option d textural classification so next question the best known classification system in textural classification is option a mit classification system option b triangular classification of us public road administration option c indian classification system option d international classification system so the correct answer is triangle classification of us public road administration so next question is the textural classification is most suited for option a clay soil option b wet soil option c coarse grain soil option d soil with moist so the correct answer is option c coarse grain soil so next question to use textural classification chart the line must be drawn option a parallel to the three sides of the triangle option b parallel to the only one side of the triangle option c adjacent to the three sides of the triangle option d adjacent to the one side of the triangle so the correct answer is option a parallel to the three sides of the triangle so next question the type of triangle used for textural classification as option a right angle triangle option b equilateral triangle option c perpendicular triangle option d none of mentioned so the correct answer is equilateral triangle so next question the public road administration that is pra system is based on 
option a particle size composition and plasticity characteristics option b particle size distribution option c all of mention option d none of mention so the correct answer is option a particle size composition and plasticity characteristics so next question the highway research board that is hrb classification system is also known as a indian classification system option b public road administration system option c international classification system option d mit classification system so the correct answer is option b class public road administration system so next question is based on hrb classification system the soil is divided into two primary groups b six primary groups option c seven primary groups option d six primary groups so the correct answer is option c seven primary groups so next question the performance of the soil when used for pavement construction is found out by using option a quality test option b group index option c material test option d none of mentioned so the correct answer is option b group index so next question the group index of the soil depends on option a liquid limit option b plastic limit option c all of mention option d none of mention so the correct answer is a liquid limit so next question the group index is defined by the which of the equation so group index equal to 0.2b plus 0.005 ac plus 0.01 bd so option b gi equal to 0.2a plus 0.005 bd plus 0.001 ac option c gi equal to 0.2a plus 0.005 ac plus 0.001 bd so next gi equal to 0.2a plus 0.5 ac plus 0.001 bd so the correct answer is option c gi equal to 0.2 a plus 0.005 ac plus 0.001 bd so next question unified soil classification system uscs was developed by option a kozni option b atterberg option c casagran option d rankin so the correct answer is option c casagran so next question the uscs system was used for which of the following purpose during the world war 2 option a air field construction option b dam construction option c foundation option d earth slopes so the correct answer is option a air field construction so next question according to uscs the fine grained are classified on the basics of a plasticity option b grain size distribution option c group index option d particle size composition so the correct answer is option a plasticity so next question by uscs system soil are classified into dash major groups so option a 2 option b 5 option c 6 option d 4 so the correct answer is option d 4 so next question a soil is considered as coarse grain if it retains more than dash in the sieve so option a 90% of the soil option b 70% of soil option c 50% of soil option d 20% of soil so the correct answer is option c 50% of soil so next question coarse grain soil containing fines between 5 to 12 percentage are designed by dash simple option a gw gm and sp and sm option b cl ml option c none of mention option d all of mention so the correct answer is option a gw gm and sp sm so next question fine grain soil or subdivided into option a silt and clay option b sand and clay option c organic and silt option d gravel and peat so the correct answer is option a silt and clay so next question fine grain soil or subdivided based on option a liquid limit and plasticity index option b group index option c all of mention option d none of the above 
So the correct answer is leg wheel limit and plasticity index. So next question, the coarse grain soil is subdivided into option A, gravel and clay, option B, gravel and sand, option C, sand and silt, option D, silt and clay. So the correct answer is B, gravel and sand. So next question, in Cassegrain plasticity chart, the numbers in the chart is denotes option A, relative suitability, option B, grade of soil, option B, option C, division of the group, option D, none of mentioned. So the correct answer is option A, relative suitability. So next question, Indian standard classification system was first developed in option A, 1947, option B, 1950, option C, 1959, option D, 1960. So the correct answer is option C, 1959. So next question, according to Indian standard classification system, fine grain soils are subdivided into two, option B, four, option C, five, option D, three. So the correct answer is option D, three. So next question, as per IES classification system, the soil is classified into A, 12 groups, option B, 15 groups, Option C, 18 groups. Option D, 16 groups. So the correct answer is option C, 18 groups. Next question, the A line is unified classification system table has the equal of IP equal to WL minus 20, IP equal to 0.73 WL minus 20, IP equal to 0 0.73 20 minus WL, IP equal to 20 minus WL. So IP is equal to plasticity index W will equal to liquid limit. So the correct answer is option B IP equal to 0 0.73 WL minus 20. So next question according to IS classification the simple GC means option A clayey gravel, option B silt gravel, option C sand gravel, option D well graded gravel. So the correct answer is option A clayey gravel. So next question, the simple L represents the which of the following soil types? Option A, silt and clay. Option B, gravel. Option C, all of the mentioned. Option C, none of mentioned. So the correct answer is option A, silt and clay. So next question, what are the features required for, for classifying a soil component as a boulder? Option A, bulky hard. Option B, diameter more than 30 centimeter. Option C, rounded to annular shape. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is all of mention. So next question, what are the soil properties which are influenced by the soil structure? Option A, permeability. Option B, compressibility. Option C, shear strength. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option D, all of mention. So next question, the single grain structure is characteristics of option A, coarse grain soil, option B, fine grain soil, option C, none of mention, option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option A, coarse grain soil. So next question, the soil structure usually defines option A, arrangements of the soil particle and the stages of aggregation of the soil particle in soil. Option B, composition of the soil mass. Option C, none of mention. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option A, arrangement of soil particle and stage of aggregation of soil particle in soil. So next question, an arrangement of composed of flocks of the soil particle is known as option A, dispersed structure. Option B, cohesive matrix structure. Option C, honeycomb structure. Option D, flock plant structure. So the correct answer is option D, flockland structure. Next question, an arrangement of the composition of soil particle having a parallel orientation is option A, dispersed, option B, coarse grained skeleton, option C, honeycomb, option D, single grain. So the correct answer is option A, dispersed. So next question, the skeleton and the matrix structure represent Option A, coarse grain soil. Option B, fine grain soil. Option C, composite soil. Option D, loose grain soil. So the correct answer is option C, composite soil. So next question, 
the soil structure having the comparative loose stable structure is option a honeycomb structure option b cohesive matrix structure option c flock land option d single grain so the correct answer is option a honeycomb structure so next question the honeycomb flock land and the disposal structure are found in option a fine grain soil option b coarse grain soil option c composite soil option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option b coarse grain soil so next question the coarse grain skeleton structure consists of arrangement of option a soil forming honeycomb structure option b coarse grain forming a skeleton option c soil oriented edge to edge which one another option d none of mentioned so the correct answer is coarse grain forming a skeleton so again we will see in next video thank you